Hello coders and welcome to another C Sharp Fundamentals tutorial. My name is Darren and today we're going to be leaving off from our last project in the previous video. So if you feel left behind at any point, just go back to one of those and, uh, and you'll be caught up in no time. So, did, so today we're going to be discussing if statements in C Sharp, otherwise known as a conditional block. If statements are fundamental to the decision making processes of our programs. Countless times we will be asking questions about the states or conditions of our variables and react to certain situations accordingly. I will provide an example of what I'm talking about, but first we need our code to communicate with us in a way that we understand. So first let me talk about printing content to the console. Let's begin by typing out console.writeLine and inside the parentheses we will place our comments within the double quotes. Now let's run the program to see what we get. Now that we can print anything we want to the console, let's return to our discussion on if statements. Let's continue using our player health analogy. Suppose our player's health falls below zero. We would like to call the player dead, right? So let's go ahead and create another bool variable named dead. When the program starts, we want the player to be alive, so we will initialize dead to false. So let's set up an if statement that asks if our player's health is equal to zero. If it is, we want to kill the player by setting our dead bool to true. Let's examine this block of code. First we use C-sharp's keyword if. Then we add parentheses. Now inside the parentheses of an if statement is going to be our test condition. Our test condition can only be returned true or false. So if the player's health is equal to zero, the statement will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. If an if statement reports to be true, it will enter the code within the curly braces directly underneath it. If it reports to be false, the program will skip over the block of code encased in the curly braces below the if statement. Now we want to check the value of our dead variable to verify our, if our player is dead. Let's write a console.writeLine call and place the following in parentheses. Outside the quotations, I wrote plus sign dead. Without too much detail, this is going to print out the value of the dead variable. Let's go ahead and run the program and see what happens when our player health is zero. Now let's run again when the player health is not zero. You have now seen how if statements can work. Now let's delve a little deeper to see what else we can do with if statements. Looking at this block of code, we can call this an if structure. But we can also have an if else structure, an if else if structure, or an if else if else if else structure. You can have infinitely many else ifs under an if statement, but only one else statement under an if statement. In other words, an if else else structure would be illegal. One other note is that when using else if, we have to add parentheses for another test condition. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead and rewatch the video if you need to and play with some if statements for yourself. You will soon realize the power and importance of them, so it's best to get familiar with them now. Next week we will be talking about methods, a way of copying infinitely many lines of code with just one line of code. As always, visit our channel if you haven't already and subscribe for more awesome tech tutorials. This has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial. Thank you for watching.